got a new show coming out. Tell us about it. Uh, the new show coming out is House of Brian, and it is, uh, it's going to be a glimpse into my life, uh, which, is, which is really an odd life. You know, I host a show about, uh, you know, you can do it yourself. I own a construction company that's more about what the hell are you, don't do that, call us. Uh, so while I host that show, I'm, I'm trying, to, trying to build a house. It's basically like trying to produce a show while you're trying to build a house. Uh, you know, production itself is a bit chaotic, as you know, and uh, construction is extremely chaotic. So when you introduce those two and put them in a room, they have a lot of fun together. So it, it's really about building a new, um, you know, environmentally friendly, uh, low impact, energy efficient home that's our dream home for us and our kids to live in. While you film a show, run a company, you know, be a father, be a dad, run another company in a business, and try and get all done in six months. Can you give us a funny anecdote or a teaser from House of Brian? A teaser from House of Brian. We did have one one previous DIYer come down, a, a certain uh, fireman that we helped out who's, who's a little bit unfocused. Uh, so we had him come down with his crew of, of uh, guys to help raise a couple of walls one day. And it was at that point I pretty much decided, you know what, that was great, great content, looks good in the show. Let's not tell anyone else where the house is in case they show up. You're going to see some fun, fun chaos that uh, that happens, and you know what? Even, uh, even I'm not immune in the in the global threat of uh, the Reno disease. I was going to say, do we get to see another side of you where you kind of lose it a little, or take five in the corner? Lose it? When would I ever lose it? Come on! I'm, None of that. I'm, I'm highly medicated right now. No, it. Uh, I mean, we have cut. Yeah, I'm cut. I better lie on the couch. It's, um, I mean, you'll see the chaos of, of I'm, I'm a pretty easygoing guy, and yeah, my, uh, you know, I come back to site a few times after having been busy, and my, my apprentice has, you know, flipped a machine here, got one stuck there, you know, dropped things through the floor here and there, so there's, uh, yeah, there's a couple times when I, when I get a little stressed out. Is your wife handy? I mean, Next with, question. uh, uh, I just, yeah, that wasn't me, FYI. That was not me. I was just asking if she's good with power tools. She's a uh, she's a do-it-yourselfer. Okay, uh, let's work, move I on. Work a lot. I work a lot. No, um, Sarah, Sarah's not not. Uh, she helped me put a few tiles up years ago on a reno we did in Oak, uh, in Vancouver, but no, she's not handy. Going into the winter season, what's one DIY that people or a few DIYs that people shouldn't do when it's cold outside? Uh, when, you know what, when it's freezing cold outside, not a good time to change your windows. Um, you know, insulating your attic, it's it's great any time to increase the amount of R value in your home in general and seal up the leaks, but middle of winter, a little cold in the attic. You want to save that for maybe spring or, uh, or fall. How about trends, how about design trends for 2010? The things we've seen, the last couple of homes that we built for retail customers, we're seeing a lot of glass tile, uh, people putting in the glass tile, a lot of... Um, Floors are lightening up a little bit. There were, there were the year, except in our house, there were. There's been a big period where everyone wanted the darkest floor possible, so you couldn't even see the grain. They're lightening up a lot. We're seeing a lot more natural kind of products come in and leafy stuff. Uh, there's some weird stuff out there, but it's it's all looking good. What is your house like, style-wise? I would call my house comfortably modern, with a with a hint of uh, Victorian charm. I don't know what the hell I do. West Coast style house. It's open concept. It's it's comfortable. Uh, a lot of open space. Elbow room. Uh, we got some great details. Uh, some really nice uh, plaster moldings, ceiling details, things like that. There's, there's a lot to look at, but it's nice and open, and it, it's going to be very comfortable. Did your wife Sarah design it? No, I'm kidding. I had to get that in. I'm no, sorry. she's busy building her farm. <laughs> Just kidding. Stop telling people I'm married to Sarah. Brian Bomber, for the record, is not married to Sarah Richardson. It's another Sarah. And uh, sh Sarah Richardson will attest to that. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for spending some time with us. No problem. Thanks for having me. Having me back. Brian Bomber.